What's up fam? So long time no see, I guess not really for you guys because you have been see my weekly videos but I haven't filmed since like Christmas time. Today we're gonna go up to uh, Thetis Lake with Rob, you guys all know Rob from the vlog. Um, so I gotta go drive up to Victoria right now. Also I'm sick, we'll just ignore my voice. And uh, the terrible lighting in here too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in Victoria. got there with that like six foot cable that's my battery pack and charger because my phone dies every five seconds why don't you get a new <laughs> phone you broke boy exactly uh. leaky trunk love it Just don't come too close <laughs> let's see the water <laughs> no i emptied it out it's fine i actually did so can you explain what's happening there well, there's a leak in the trunk and every week or so it fills up with like three inches of water and my windows get foggy, so. I don't know where the leak is. It could be this, but I tested and it wasn't really. I don't know. Seems to be coming from in here. I don't know how to fix that. Well, this seems to be the leak. This is only like a minute from the car. This is so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> we're at Thetis Lake and we're hunting for the Thetis Lake monster. It's a real thing, there's a wiki page. You see that? Is it focused? Yeah. Okay. I think so. It's a reptilian humanoid cryptid to have been seen in 1972 by Thetis Lake outside of Victoria. A local man attempted to explain the phenomenon with reports of misplacing a domesticated tegu lizard near the area a year prior, but experts claim that in addition to the fact that a tegu lizard would not survive a Canadian winter, the original description differs too greatly from the lizard in size and attribute. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> We just saw a puppy, it was very cute. We out here on a cliff, overlooking the lake, as you can see. And um, we're about to go and walk around, hike a little, Arcus Media plug, what up? Um, and uh, yeah, so we've never been here before. It's very pretty. Rob, Rob will jump in, I'll push him in, it's fine. I'll get the content for you. No. <laughs> Okay vlog, we're going to find a new lake, a better lake, apparently, but this one's pretty good. Oh, wait, <laughs> we're going to go find a new lake, just as good as this one. Or better, maybe worse. Yeah. Thetis Lake out of 10. Uh, um, I don't know, let's go with a, uh, if I brought kayaks, then probably, and it's a sunny day, probably like a 10. Like this is pretty good right now we'll go with the six but wow. it was it was a good venture now out of ten though don't you think you're being a little generous yeah <laughs> i'm gonna give my rating okay no nope. okay. okay my rating of theatus lake okay take three there's a woodpecker <laughs> up there okay anyway uh my rating of theatus lake today out of ten 
it's like a solid five. I would come here again for sure, but does it blow my expectations out of the water? Well, actually, to be honest, I didn't have any expectations. This, which is why I'm not disappointed. But I'm also not excited because it didn't like really blow me away. All right, so we left Thetis Lake, and now we're at um, I think it's called McDonald Lake or something. Yo, okay, we're at the second lake. I think it's called Lake McDonald. Uh, I would say it's worse than Thetis Lake. I don't know. Maybe not, but there's two eagles up there in that tree. Probably can't see them, but that's cool. Oh, eagle's taken off. Go. So there were two eagles there. We scared them away with our vlogging um, because we're too crazy. This kind of just looks like someone's pond, but... You heard it here first, kids. Rob's going to swim in this pond at some point and then get swimmer's itch and beaver fever, but not yet. We got all this filthy mud trying to check through. It's not working. How come, Duke? My shoes. Yeah, I'm prepared. Look, yeah. you got toes out, bro. Yes, but we're crossing a mud puddle. And we're still at, I gotta say, Lake Monopoly. Yeah, that's Lake, it. Lake McDonald. Still cruising around Lake Monopoly. Not sure where we're going. Almost tripping. And um, we're just gonna go where this takes us. We might get lost. Exactly. Maybe we'll dive exposure out here. All right, so we're still at that little river spot. Thought we lost Rob, but he's right there. Um, yeah, I don't know where we're going next. Maybe Ogden Point or to get food. Okay, well, oh, focus. Oh, there. So, yeah, what is that? Teeth, Mr. <sighs> botanist from the last time? Yeah, botanist. Is that what I said last yeah, time? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's funny. Well, just by looking at it, it's hard to know. So we're going to get our paleontology okay. tools out. And we're going <laughs> to extract this. Now we are going to put this moss back when we're finished, okay? Good. Because, um, take only fingerprints. Just kidding. Take only <laughs> photographs, leave only fingerprints. Now, as you can see, how you zoomed in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these right here are, um, you know, <laughs> judging by these teeth. A raccoon or a deer, no? That's a deer for sure. Those okay. are molars. Okay. Meant for getting through dense, fibrous meat. Now we're just going to go ahead and put that back the way we found it. Okay, so now uh, we left McDonald Lake. And so Turns out it was actually Mackenzie Lake this whole time. Really? Yeah. Listen, I got some advice I can share about the rain. Last weekend, Juke and I were in a taxi, and there's this guy, the cabbie, and I asked him how it was going, and he said, I think he said, like, what do you say, like, how do you think it's going, or something like that, and then I just laughed, because that's pretty awkward, you know, he was like, oh, just kidding, yeah, it's fine, except for this weather, because it's always raining, and he gets to saying that, you know, everyone always says to me, at least it's not snowing. And then he says, but you know what? I would prefer the snow. Because you know what you need for the snow? A shovel. You know what you need for the rain? Juke, what did he say? I don't even remember now. Oh, come on. <laughs> he said, a priest. Yeah, what did you think of that guy? Uh, he was a character. They all are. <laughs> they, whoa, what do you mean they? Cab drivers. What do you mean they? <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I feel like I'm the one running this show sometimes. I get him to take over the vlog when we're vlogging. I'm a little sleepy. It's the illness. <laughs> <laughs> I need to focus on driving. Okay, this is stressful in Victoria. Uh, Juke, what happened a few minutes no, ago? No, no, cut. <laughs> no, we're doing driving lessons. Huge what, from Rika, cut here. What was, the, what was the driving lesson last vlog? Oh, the tailgater. Tailgating, right. And what's this week's? Um, Always shoulder check, even if you have foggy windows. That's 
right and why is that this week's lesson no idea it's just a good <laughs> lesson yeah no juke did not show the check and we almost collided. but i did no i did <laughs> she did a poor job i did of the i did in the end it's hard to see my windows are literally foggy because of the leak village there's a lot of little shops here and we're looking for a place to get London fog perhaps maybe a coffee I don't know. yep and food we'll get back to you when we find the place what's going on success we got our drink so yeah Rob's gonna get some food and we're going to the beach Rob got his food now we came to Ogden Point we're gonna walk all the way out to so, out to that lighthouse and back and then I don't know I'll probably head home yeah it's so pretty here if you guys are ever in Victoria you gotta come here it's so nice especially when it's sunny out or when there's a storm like the sunsets here are crazy I'm not gonna vlog it because my camera's coming oh yes so. you are nope Alright, I just dropped off Rob, he's going back home. Um, I guess I will head back. We walked to the lighthouse and back. Got some good pictures there that I'll include in the vlog. And um, Alright, so it's almost 5 o'clock and I've been in rush hour for like maybe 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're stuck in rush hour. It usually takes about 45 minutes to get home. We'll see how long this takes. All right, so it's now 5.30 and I've barely moved like a few blocks. There's like a huge line of like hundreds of cars ahead, just like completely stopped. So yeah, this is gonna be a long drive home. Okay, now here's another update. It's 6.20ish, we'll say. Um, I was moving a little bit, but it seems to have stopped again. <laughs> but you know, I'm just chilling. I was listening to my music and then put on a podcast so you know it's good I got food and snacks <laughs> okay so I made it back to Mill Bay it is seven o'clock um yeah I left at like 4 40 that was a long time stuck in traffic but you know we made it I still have a bit of a drive home but I just wanted to pull over to film and end the vlog here I know you didn't see much of my face today um I don't know I was just filming the day and uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace fam! That's peace, sorry. I can't see you there.